another word of warning. If you are a man out there, never, ever, 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 and ever date a woman with a child because there is a story here where this guy has been ordered to pay, ordered by the court, by the way, he has been ordered to pay spousal support as well as child has been ordered to pay child support to children that are not his biologically they are not his <laughs> i've got an article coming from iol who captured the story and say a right to parental care extend to step parent a court said ruling that a stepfather had to pay interim maintenance pending divorce a divorce proceeding from the children's mother hey <laughs> what are you saying guys nitin ngalenda bale mina ngitije if you've got if you know that this is this look if you know that she's got children don't you dare going in what's your take guys i mean i mean um i'm here i mean What's wrong with that? There's there's nothing wrong literally with what you just said right now. He should pay for that maintenance. I mean, looking at the very same article that you just read, let me take you through. Um, the first sentence, it says that the Western Cape High Court ruled that the basis for ordering the stepfather to pay maintenance is the children's right to parental care. Every child deserves parental care from their parent. And, and he was, as much as he was a stepdad, he stepped in as a father to those parents. So, Vele, if he's not paying maintenance, he's taking away the parental care okay, that they deserve. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe Willie has got some point. Willie, what's your take? <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm actually glad that you got to ask me this question because we are looking at this story from a whole uh, different point of view we are now putting aside the fact that this man also has got two of his own biological children that he still needs to take care of of which he decided that you know what let me not separate my children from their mother and also allow and align himself with the law by saying that, you know what, children are best natured by their mother. So he did not have any obligations to actually take care of these children, but out of the goodness of his heart, he decided to offer that and say, you know what, since they are under my roof now, I love you, I'm going to love you with each and every single thing that you have. So I'm offering to actually assist you with this. And that's something that we are now taking for granted. His kindness was taken for granted, and we honestly cannot tolerate such, uh, such behavior. In an article released by IOL on the 13th of September 2024 by Uzelda Venter, right, step dead to pay maintenance as a heading of the article. But the article then it says, it goes on to say the Western the Western the Western Cape High Court ruled that the basic for ordering the stepfather to pay maintenance to his children's right is the children's right to parental care. Right? It continues to say, um, it is it is it was said that while being married to the two children's mother, they formed a blended family, and there was no justification for them to suffer now because their mother and their stepfather are divorcing. <laughs> I mean, exactly, exactly my point. The more and more you read this article, it's the more you realize that it's not the children's fault. How are the children at fault that their parents... Okay, let me give you a scenario. Okay. Um, they fell in love knowing that they both had like two children the father had his own separate children from from the relationship the mother had years and they came to they decided to fall in love that was the parents choice now they are deciding to to to, to separate how is that the children's fault that their parents are now divorcing and and now you don't want to play father anymore were you pretending may i please correct you well, so if I am now to come in, you know, and correct you because heavily you are wrong. So 
what happens here is that these children do have their biological father involved in their lives. So when you are saying that these children are now going through trauma, which trauma are they going through? The trauma of losing a, a financial uh, cow or the trauma of actually now saying that they, they have to go back to their um, biological father and live within his means. Because this whole story is just a way of saying that this man was able to afford this lifestyle for them and was able to show them this particular world. Now that they fear Can I pause losing... You? Yes. Can I pause you? I, pause you. I would like, I like you, you to show, show us, us why are you saying... Because now you are bringing a point to say... Yes. Uh, he has introduced them to a certain lifestyle. So from the article that you are now, we are now talking about here, where is it saying that? Let's let look, take, yes. take me through. I'm interested. All right. So within the article, it states that, you know, they went on luxurious holidays, including overseas holidays, uh, lived in a beautiful large house valued at a minimum of 10 million rands, drove luxurious cars, and the children attended private schools. Now, this is something of a strategic move for, for their parent, you know, uh, being their mother. Um, she's seeing that these children are now going to lose such high value, you know, that they had, of which the man was not obligated to pay for. He was not obligated. We have to re remember and take that into consideration that this was not an obligation. It was an act of kindness to say, you know what, since I am part of this children's life, let me assist you and not separate you with, uh, from your children. Okay, okay, wait, you've got something to say. Okay. Let me, let me correct you right there. Let me, let me correct you. Because here in this article, she said that her children were devoted to their stepfather and formed a strong bond with him. And his withdrawal from their lives had caused undue trauma. It's, it's, it's not just about the money. It's about the bond that they formed. They looked at this man as their own father because he was there to provide for them. And now all of a sudden, just because... Uh, him and the mother is no longer in love. He decides to withdraw everything. I mean, that is so not making sense to me right now. How do you play my father? We we, we have this bond. The, the trauma, the trauma that is caused there, it's, it's so deep. I mean, a lot of people have childhood traumas. And now he's, he's causing one of the uh, traumas amongst these children by withdrawing his affections all of a sudden. Okay. Now, um, to somebody that doesn't know, let's continue reading the article. It says the couple met when, uh, when the husband was her patient as a dietitian in 2015 and were married in 2018 out of community of property with, uh, with the inclusion of a cruel system. Both were previously married and had two children, each from those marriages. No children were born of their marriage. Now, it is very important to note that no children were born from their marriage, right? The wife's children live primarily with the couple and the primary care of the, of the men's children was with their mother. So, you remember that it was a, they said it was a blended family. Now, I'm asking myself, how was it a blended family if the guy... His children were living with their mother. And then I take you, you're living with me. Your children are living with me. How is it blended family, Charmaine? Can I, can I, wait, can I, can I come in on that? It says that the applicant sought a finding that the husband stood in place of the parent and vol voluntarily assumed that role in respect of the children that she brought into the marriage. So this man was not forced to support those children. I mean, he voluntarily did it. Why is he forced now? Now, you also have to understand one thing. Within the very same article, you know, that's the interesting part about uh, this article is that it writes both sides of the story. Now, I'm just going to read a little from it. The stepfather's position was that he did not have parental rights and responsibility in respect of the applicant's children. He did not have the right to become a parent to these children. But now that whatever has occurred between he and the applicant, he is now forced 
by the system to say that you have got an obligation when he did not have that obligation in the first place. Why is it becoming an obligation now that they are seeing Uguti, their main source of income is now living? Why is it an obligation now? Why was it an obligation before? And this is something that we can also shift away from this uh, particular article and look at how life is in general. We all know that through a divorce, the women, because naturally they are natures, the children go with the lady. So when we look in this position, uh, through the applicant's first divorce, she obviously gained custody of the children. Going with the children into her new marriage, because where would she have left the children? They need to stay with their mother. They need the mother's love. So this guy was kind enough to say, you know what, I'm opening up my home and I'm opening up my wallet and my heart. To say that, you know what, I'm going to accommodate you guys. It's fine. I'm going to love you. I'm loving you. And a lot of men do that. You know, they become great step parents. And as much as they want to, the amount of money that is now asked of him, it's ridiculous. 50,000 rand a month to take care of children that are not yours whilst you have got two children of your own. Okay, 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 okay. You see... Um, they introduce us to this concept that um, the reason why this was happening is because they say they went on luxurious holiday, including overseas holidays, lived in a beautiful, uh, large house, valued at a minimum of 10 million, drove luxurious cars, and children attended private school. You know, the stepfather's position was was that he did not have like, a parental right, uh, a parental right and responsibility in respect of the applicant's children and um, that he did not have a legal uh, legal uh, legal duty to maintain them nor did he undertake or promise to maintain them according to him the children had a strong bond with their father who regular contact Co local contact with them and who contributed towards their maintenance. So, Charmaine, tell me something here. I want to know from you. Yeah. The fact that you just quoted the part that says, according to him, the children had a strong bond with their father who had regular contact with them and who contributed towards their maintenance. I mean, their own father was still present in their life. But then he over, like he exceeded that and he showed them the lifestyle of luxurious cars, expensive holidays. So they bad. lived in this, they, they lived in this big mansion. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, just because it's like he was trying to prove a point. So now just because he no longer loves the mother, he, 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 he suddenly just wants to take that away. That is traumatic. That is not okay. fair. Okay, so you are objecting. I don't know on what basis, but I'm going to grant you. You have an objection. Let's go. All right, so I have an objection. You see, when you said that um, the children have got a strong bond with their biological father, you are now saying that these people are scared of losing financial support. We are clearly being played. Clearly being played. These children have got a, a, a present father. A father that is constantly there and helps with finances as well. But because this stepfather has got a bigger and deeper pocket, they That's want to continue diving in. This is a deep show. swimming pool. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Let me, let me tell you what the, the judge literally said in court. This is the court now speaking. It says it is not in the best interest of children that a step parent be permitted to abruptly abandon those children the moment they fall out of love with their parent, the judge said. I mean, the judge the the, the judge said it that it's 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 so it's it's so cruel that all of a sudden, just because you are no longer in love as parents. Now you abruptly, it's abandonment. You know, 
abandoning children is a crime. It's it's really a crime. Now he just wants to abandon those children. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me get in here. Here's a, here's what fascinates me about the story. There is an acknowledgement that the father of the children da So he, he, this is what actually comes into my mind. This woman claimed maintenance from this guy, right? The orig the biological father, right? So he claims maintenance. He's getting monthly support for those children. Then because he's she was now married to this one, also this one was supporting this girl, right? The, the, the wife, right? Because this one has got deeper pocket, why same children now must be supported twice? I've never seen such a ridiculous thing because what they're basically asking here is that they want this guy to support children that already are receiving maintenance. So you can tell from where I'm seated, from where I'm seated, I, I can clearly say that this is a matter of how deep the pocket is. It's not a matter of maintenance. Take it from... Yeah, you see, when you're saying that this guy is abandoning the children, how is he abandoning children that he did not have legal parenting to? What is he abandoning? Because when you're saying you're abandoning children and leaving them without a parent, from what we hear, he is leaving them with a mother and a father who is there. These children are not losing a father figure. They are losing financial support from the highest pocket wow, wow. and now we also have to understand one thing ladies wow. and gentlemen we have got a divorce pending meaning that on top of the fifty thousand rent that this lady is going to drag on I'm, I'm i'm pretty much sure that this case is going to drag on for for, for the next six months just to get fifty thousand rent every month when it drags on after the divorce is finalized all the assets that were purchased during this marriage have to be split the lady is still going to win more. Why does she need 50,000 rand now when she's still going to walk away probably with millions? I mean, everybody's emphasizing on the 10 million house. That's what's fascinating the judge. Even the judge that doesn't know that salary probably. You see, but now we, 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 we see 10 million at play. Why is this guy running away? No, they want to milk this guy. It's not no, right. No, no, no. It, it doesn't work like that. If, if you listen to the judge... Uh, the, the judge's words correctly. It says abruptly abandoned. It just happens out of the blue. Like it, it, that word and the conclusion says, but for now, pending the final divorce, the step stepfather has to resume. Wait a minute. The stepfather has to resume his responsibilities. I mean, this is you. Children are the very most understanding human beings on earth, right? But now out of the blue they've been introduced to this certain lifestyle and and now this father figure the stepdad is showing them that i can provide for you i can protect i can protect you and everything you are my kids and he has accepted them like they have that bond it's it's more than just finances that they have actually built they actually have a relationship they actually have a bond so now for him to just cut that relationship of as if they mean nothing while all this time he was playing a role of being a provider and a protector in their life and giving them all this luxurious stuff i mean it doesn't make sense for their life to just change like that okay, okay. it's it's very cruel to children okay 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 you see this is the this is my problem in the store my problem is Yes, it's a nice thing to say, hey, you can't stop this abruptly. Why, why, why? No matter the fancy English that is being used in this thing. My problem is, for the fact that the biological father is involved. So this chill, like, can you guys make it make sense to me? To me, it doesn't make sense at all. Here, here's, my, here's my take. These children, how on earth have you heard that one person is uh, arrested and is appearing before two courts, two different courts. It, does not, it doesn't happen. Only one court can adjudicate or rule over one matter. But in this case, you've got same children. They must benefit from the stepdaddy, still benefit from the original daddy. It just doesn't make sense. If the father is there and the stepdaddy is divorcing the wife, 
take the children back to the look to original father. What's the problem here? For me, this is a matter of how deep the pocket is. We are running after the pocket because the children still have their mother and their biological father who is still supporting them. Why are we pushing for the stepfather to pay for this? It really doesn't make sense. Let's take it up. for Yes, and I want to add on to that as well. This thing is just uh, the court using nice, fancy English word. Abra what? Abra abandoning... Abruptly abandoning, you know, um, there is no such a thing happening in this case. These children were welcomed through the gesture of goodwill as well. These children were taken in by a man who said, you know what? Yes, you do have a father. And I recognize the fact that he is there in your life. I am not going to stand between you two. I'm not going to come in between your, con uh, your relationship with your father. So he, he permitted that to happen under his roof, under his home. Now, what's happening here is just the system trying to take advantage of another rich man. Because in this world, we know, in this country, we know that when you are a rich man, you are a target. The worst thing is that you are a black rich man and you want to, prove, uh, to improve your life there is always going to be something or someone to take you down. And in this case, the law is helping take this man down. Okay, okay, before I, before I, I want to ask you a specific question now. Um, okay, we have heard the story. We just, yeah, the story is so ridiculous. Tell me something. According to you, you are a woman. You speak to other women. Have you ever had a woman saying, you know what? If you love, love me, please exclude my children in your love for me. Just love me alone in, in, in the exclusion of my children. I'm interested to hear that. No, I mean, it doesn't work like that. If you love me, you love my offsprings as well. I mean, I, where I am, there my children are as well. So if you love me, like a way to, 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 to a woman's heart that has children it's through her children if you love her children you automatically prove to her that you are capable of loving her as well so obviously not it wouldn't make sense okay. so in this case he overproved himself and now when it's when it's uh, 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 high time for him to actually prove himself at, at the testing time of divorce, he wants to 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 withhold back. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I'm I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I want I want you to tell me something. This article paints a story, as we read, guys. It paints a story of a guy who is well off. Was he supposed to marry this woman and go and live in a shack so that he can acquaint them to a lower life? Because from what I'm reading, Nina, in the story, is that. This man was living a life where he ended up inviting this woman to this life because they were living in a house valued at 10 million. We don't hear that this woman was rich. We hear that the guy was rich. We don't hear the woman being rich. So technically, it is said even here that the guy uh, accustomed them to luxurious trips, even overseas trips, living in a mansion, driving like we the picture that is painted here is that all these things belongs to the guy. Now I want you to tell me something. Was he supposed to go live in a shack or in an RTP house now that he's married to this person? Tell me. Definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, um, he fell in love with the woman while he still had those riches, right? And she fell in love with him while they still had... For goodness sake, the guy that we are reading about, he also has two children, right? And and she has two children as well. They both uh, uh, brought their children and formed a blended family. They became a family that is... Um, that is blended very well. So now you're asking me whether you should have stayed in a shack just to prove a certain point to this woman. How would that have helped? Let me, let me try to justify myself by bringing out the fact of 
tax. Some companies avoid paying tax by helping out those uh, orphanages, like help, helping out orphanages, helping out people that are struggling out there. That's how they avoid tax. So in this situation, he's just one of those rich men. Now he's just maintaining these two kids. Imagine if you are supporting an orphanage and all of a sudden he just stops doing that. The, he, he's depriving those children parental care. He's depriving them a, a right to having access to their needs. Okay, okay, okay. You see, um, one thing that I also want to point out, something that we also find in this very same article that you are reading, Charmaine, but before I get there, I want to, to, to take you back to the beginning of the story, where this couple met. They met at a hospital when the man was a patient. For who? The woman was a patient. The woman was a patient. Meaning, this lady, she can afford this type of uh, uh, private life. Or oh, the husband was a patient. Yes, the husband Yes. Yes, you see, the husband was the patient, meaning that this lady has got a very good job with a very good salary. You see, a very good job with a very good salary, and the children also have got their biological father. Who supports them? Supports them. So imagine a dietitian's salary, let's say, above 20,000 rand. I would take a guess, you know, and then we've got um, what? You mentioned blended family. In this very same article, please, let's dive into it. He accused the wife of wanting her children to be viewed as their children and his children as visitors. Now, tell me about blended family, because if, <laughs> if I know, if, if my two cents tells me that a blender mixes things together, right? Exactly. But now, how is this a blended family when, he, when the man's uh, children are living with their mother? And... Her children are living under the very same roof as their mother. How is that blending? How are we blending the families? It is not blending. Blending is when the man comes with his children. These are my two children. These are my two children. We are having four children under one roof, making six people living in that roof. When we are going for holidays, all those children are going there. But now these children are recognizing this guy as... Uh, another father figure in their life, but a very rich father figure. High chance, I'm willing to bet that when they speak about him, they say that my rich stepfather. <laughs> that's a, that's a, wait, 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 I'll give you. That's a very interesting one. That's a very interesting one. Guys, I don't know. I, 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 I want us to shift a bit from this, but now I want us to talk life general now. Do you notice that this story teaches us that by the virtue of in fact, there are a few things that I think we should learn. Number one, never date a broke woman. If you are a rich guy, never date a broke woman. Just date women in your league. Women who have made money, same as you. Because had he dated a person in his league, this problem would not have been there today. That is what I'm learning, man. Two, this thing of being superheroes here, you, hi, I'm telling you guys. I mean, I mean, you know, it just goes to show that you know, um, it, heroes do lose. Heroes do lose because they want to constantly do good, and when they constantly do good, it's not benefiting them at the end of the day. You know, you are making somebody else's child benefit, and then when when the child grows up, they'll say, you know what? Let me go and reconnect with my parents. You know, because even though, you know, like, they are, they are divorcing, but he's still being obligated. But okay, I, 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 I'll give you some time Shaman, to speak. Ne? Let, me, let me tell you a story from someone practical. Yes. Now, listen, guys, this, is, this one is very interesting again. This lady, she's a professional. I'm not going to give you more details about it. She is um, she's a social worker. She got married to a doctor, a person who's a doctor by profession. They are living together. So as they are living together, this is what happened. She helped raise the doctor's child. When the, do when the child was graduating, then the child said, I want my family, my parents, on graduation day. Listen carefully. The child 
said, I don't need stepmother. I'm graduating. I need my real parent. She says she, <laughs> she says she has never been broken in her life. Like when she heard those words, I want my real parent. Charmaine, I want you to, I want you to take take me. Now we are talking real life stories here. Take me through these things of being a superhero feeding this person. Now it backfires. It's not a matter of backfiring. Sometimes we should learn. I mean, I'm talking real life right now. Sometimes we should learn as human beings that when you are doing a good deed, if it's it's out of the goodness of your heart, don't have expectations out of it. Because the minute you start having expectations, that's an investment. It's no longer out of the goodness of your heart. So if he played um, hero and he was expecting... To, to, to get something out in the end, then he wasn't doing a good deed at the end of it. Like his parental, uh, him being a parent, him being a dad is now questionable when, when he's just withdrawing whatever, uh, um, whatever l luxurious, I mean, it's not about the luxury as well. It's about private schools, the quality of education these kids were getting that he was paying for. I mean, that's, that's something that benefits the future of young people in general. So him having to withdraw that, him having to to, to just step out of it and be like, wait a minute, I, I, I don't want to be responsible anymore. Yet he was responsible. For me, that is that is um that is a very harsh, harsh decision to just want to step out of it. It makes me wonder that was he doing this out of the goodness of his heart? He volunteered to be there for these children. He gave his heart and, and these children loved him as a father. They created that bond. I hear your story about graduation of, I mean, what's wrong of wanting your biological mother at, 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 at your graduation? You're raised by them. You're raised by this one. Step you, one you, you, step yes, you appreciate the support and everything, but at the end, like your blood is important to be there for you for just a graduation. Uh, it, I mean, come it, on, okay. people. This is the question that I want to ask you, uh, Willie. Um, was the, look. Let's talk about this guy. The, do, according to you, do you think this guy had a, cho had, a cho had a choice? Like honestly speaking, we are living in a world where we we are constantly told, "If you love me," finish the sentence for me. If you love me, thank you. But before I give you, so. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think this guy really had a choice? Well, honestly, you know, looking at him um, taking interest in the, in the applicant here, um, he had no choice. You know, he had to actually um, take the children because they came with the mother. So this is an instant whereby we are looking at a man who, you know, who has fallen in love with a lady that has got children and it's an expectation out of him. You know, it's an expectation that they say, if you do not love me with what I have, you're not a man. You're not oh, man enough. Okay. Now I want us to, 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 to narrow it down. Let's leave this article. We're done with this article. Guys, what lesson are we learning? Personal, I'm learning. If you are here, Find a woman here. This thing of you going down to date a woman who's broke in the shack, living in the shack. You see, this thing of playing heroes, wanting to be heroes. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm going to outsmart the other guy. I'll do better. You do better now with the maintenance. So I'm telling you guys, Nizofa, he maintains me. I bought a match. You must, hi, you can't withdraw this uprightly. They're using all this fancy English. Mind you, I'm supporting. I'm supporting. I'm supporting. That lesson of yours is so biased to a point whereby you marry that woman that is in the same league with you, but she doesn't respect you to some extent because she can earn as much as you and I mean, what's the point of getting married 
to someone that does not have the qualities of a wife that you're looking for just because she's in the same league with you. Oh, 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 oh. Let, me, let me help you there. It's, I had a conversation with somebody and this is what I said to this person. I said, listen, I, 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 the guy rose, look, he raised a very similar point and I said to the guy, listen to this one. I said to him, I get what you are saying. However, I want you to look at life in this way as well. If I am dating a woman in my league, the benefit are when we divorce, number one, we're not going to fight over assets because we both have something to lose, equally so, which usually men tends to be losers in marriage because I came with more, she came with less, but now when if we're divorcing, for instance, depending on the type of marriage or contract, but I can guarantee you now, go and check the stats, when a woman is broke, hardly you will see women wanting to marry you outside of in community property. It's always in community property because that's how they secure themselves. But look at this one. Go check the stats. When a woman is well off, she can hardly marry in community property. She will marry outside of in community property. So, number, number three, if we have same assets in this marriage, chances are she will fight more because if we divorce, she stand a chance to lose something. I stand a chance to lose something. But if, for instance, she's, she, she came with nothing in this marriage, but now there are luxurious things. If she divorced, she stand a chance of gaining more. So dating a broke one versus the one who is in your league. I'm telling you, the one in your league is most likely to fight to keep this marriage because she stand a chance to lose. She will lose something if we divorce. But this one, if we divorce, she, the broke one, if we divorce, she stand a chance of gaining even more from you. And you see, the broke one is basically investing in life insurance. But uh, for me, you know, the lesson that I have taken from this, I think it is more and... Um, Strictly better, you know, for somebody like me who hasn't had uh, children of his own yet, um, go for a lady who is going to complement your life as well. You know, um, people that usually just move with what they are feeling at that particular moment without, you know, considering, uh, considering a lot of things into play. Um, when we are now, you know, just looking at how most situations are put out in general, we have quite a lot of people uh, subjecting themselves, you know, to less because they are afraid, you know, and then we've got people as well cashing in over to UK. You know what? Um, I was approached by this individual who has got this life. Let me play into the part of actually feeling like I am in love with this person so that I can benefit from what he brings. So it's no longer a, a format of love because if it was love, whatever it is that's causing them to divorce, you know, uh, wasn't going to prevail. Certainly, you know, there are certain things that play, you know, larger hands in this, in this whole, um, you know, separations of people because these people were married before. This is their second divorce. You know, if we, you know, you know like come into, you know, uh, bring that into consideration, you know, it's second divorce. And, you know, there are certain aspects, you know, that, you know, you now have to ask yourself, okay, what actually is happening here? You know, where, what are we playing at? You know, where are we going with this? Because when we now saying that I am expected to behave in this particular manner simply because of what I have, is it that you loved me because I was an investment for you? Is that what we are bringing up? Shaman, here is a question that I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ask you. Uh, like, he, let's, let's just be honest and look at life in general. Is it safe for a man to marry a woman who's broke? Considering cases like this. Uh, like, just strictly considering cases like this. Because remember, when I marry you or when I date you, I'm not doing it because I want to financially support you uh, even when I don't want to, right? I just want to do it from the goodness of my heart. But when I don't want to do it, I also want to stop. But now the law comes into play. Now you want to maneuver within the law. Is it really safe for broke women, look for rich or successful men 
to date broke women in this day and age? Uh, the way you're asking the question, it's, it's like now you, you, you're just asking that people that are not financially well off shouldn't be in a relationship. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to answer your question anymore because now, am I marrying money or I'm marrying a mindset, a character, and somebody? Wait, wait, right there, right there, right there, right there. Reading this story, was it a marriage of mindset or was it a marriage of money? Look at the outcome. I mean, Look I mean, yo, every marriage ha has its own benefits, and here we just <laughs> shown. <laughs> Some of the benefits that they were living in a 10 million house. This is just one of the benefits. They were both, I like the fact that they were both previously married. And now this marriage is, 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 is failing as well. There's something wrong with either one of them. Okay. So now it's just, it's a court case anyways, where they discuss money. So that's the only story no. that we got. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> aish, aish, aish. You know what? Um, we have run out of time. I would like to end this episode here. Guys, we have learned some of the things that I, I don't think in my life I was aware of. But this episode, I can tell you this, that uh, it's not going to be the first time we talk about this topic. I can tell you that this same topic here, uh, uh, look, it will need as somebody who is, a, in, look, who is into this legal, legal thing. They need to come and tell us what to do when you are faced with such situations. For today's episode, I want us to end it here with the hope that we'll come back. But I can guarantee you, we will come back to this topic. This one, it deserves episode one, two, three, four. Because we need to go and get a lawyer, family lawyer to be specific. Somebody that is going to come and explain to us how you lend yourself into these problems so we can avoid. If it means running away from broke ladies, so be it. Because we don't want to end in this situation. Two, we need to find people who, are, who have been into the situations where one date for the, for the purpose of just getting financial rewards and the other one who has been, uh, you know, who's crying foul play. We need to go find such people. So if you are that person... Hit us in the local. Um, just, you know, you can you can find me on Instagram at bongan underscore masugu5. Then I will listen to your DM and then we can have a conversation. Until that time, good people, please take care.